Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading, my loves. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Scorpio, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. If you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. No gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Scorpio, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you so very much for your support of the channel. All right, guys. Uh, coming into your energy, lots of emotion. I have to say that, but you're a water sign, so I'm okay with that. It's your true element of power. Um, there was an old song, The Love I Lost Was a Sweet Love. There's some nostalgia here. I have to say that as well. Somebody either is just thinking about you heavily, that you were divinely connected with at one time, or if this is you. Yeah. It doesn't, honestly, it's, uh, you know, uh, how can I say this? It feels like, you know, not so much regret, but I wonder, you know, or what if, you know what I mean? What if? Yeah. I think that they, of course, I think you guys have both moved on, but, um, you know, they just wonder what if. I think they wish the best for you or you them, however the energy resonates. Yeah. Scorpio, I'm not, you know, I, I, how can I say this? Um, there's a sense of isolation here. I have to, you know, let me see what's going on. There's definitely a sense of isolation. Um, maybe you're just in your own head, in your own thoughts, processing, figuring things out for yourself, you know, figuring things out. We're pulling from the uh, Divine uh, Animal Tarot. I'm sorry, Oracle. Scorpio, please. Divine Animal Oracle. Scorpio. Thank you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do read reversals, and I do not read from the floor. And we have a Snow Leopard, and we have a Jackal. Uh, both in reverse, and we're going to definitely keep it like that. Now, no? Okay, let's start here. Uh, the snow leopard in the upright is is a watcher kind of energy, you know. Um, it's taking the high road. It's observing, you know, um, staying small, you know, watching surroundings, you know. Again, I feel like you're just in your own thoughts, looking at your life, you know, observing, looking at the circumstances, people, places, and things, okay? Um, and with the jackal in the upright, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we would be talking about, you know, some truth, living in your truth, being free in your truth. And it's coming in reverse because of that nostalgia, you know? It's like, you. I think you're taking a look back of, of on some things, or this is somebody that's heavily in your energy, taking a look back on you um, and realize that they, you know, really didn't do what was in their heart, okay? Now, what's coming in is a tarantula, the connection. <laughs> so, um, you know, bringing things together, you know, uh, this is very manifestation, ma magical energy, um, putting the pieces in place. I wouldn't be surprised, Scorpio, if somebody reached out to you or you reached out to them from your past, okay? Uh, prosperity coming in behind that. So I definitely love that. Um, and this is by way of, you know, abundance in every sense of the word, uh, physically, mentally, spiritually. Uh, this also uh, could represent a new income, a new source of income coming in. Okay. So be obedient 
if uh, in your private prayers and meditation, when you're talking to God, all right, you're talking to the angels, you're talking to uh, your uh, ancestors, you're, you know, the holy and divine spirits that are on the other side assisting us in our journey uh, through life, be obedient because your obedience and accountability is what's going to activate this new prosperity, okay? All right, let's do your spread. Let's see what's going on. Maybe we can get some details. I'm liking the animals for you guys today. It feels good in your energy. So we're going to also do the animal um, tarot. Center energy, please, for Scorpio. Center energy, please, for Scorpio. There we go. Ace of Swords. Here's the truth coming in. Yeah, there's a heavy issue with communication, and it's divine. This is literally, like I said, I think in your private prayers and meditation, uh, you're getting and giving um, all truth, all truth from the Most High. So I cannot stress enough, this is a time of obedience for you. Now, granted, we've all been disobedient. This is just not one of those times. So if it's on your heart to make a call, make that call. To make a move, make that move. Um, you know, to whatever. If it, that is just in your spirit to get up and... I don't know, go to the store to play the lottery, then do it. If it's in you, it, you but uh, again, through God, not through your own understanding. Okay. But the Ace of Swords is divine communication, divine truth, as well as a, uh, the ability to cut ties. So this sword is given to you um, to assist you with communication, but also to assist you with breaking away free and clean from any type of hurt, harm, or danger to you spiritually, mentally, or physically that's keeping you bound, okay? Crown the energy, please, for Scorpio. Crown the energy, please, for Scorpio. Oh, hello. All right, and there's the Six of Cups. So we have emotional stability and support, past life assistance. Like I said, guys, I, you know, this communication is holy and divine. And the Six of Cups understand that even though it falls, you know, let's say 10 being complete bliss, so emotional bliss. So you might look at six like, well, that's not all that great. You know, not yet anyway, but it's a very forward moving energy. It kind of like comes to stabilize you to and uh, get you balanced and get you so that you can uh, be on the right track and a uh, healthy emotional state. Okay. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, the, uh, this connection is... Wow. Um, I can't stress enough that whoever's manifesting you or you're manifesting or just connected to, you know, you might not even use it. I, I haven't been thinking about this person. I don't know what you're talking about, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it is a truly divine connection, heavy past life energy. What's working against Scorpio right now? What's in the way? What's working? I'm hearing the tree of life. Wow. That might be you, you love that the tree or they, they love the tree, the king of swords, being honest with that communication is working against you. Scorpio, this is you, my love. I mean, I can't say all of you, but man, is this heavy. Possible air sign to uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Uh, it's in my mouth. Uh, Gemini is in my mouth. Yeah. Mm. 
Queen of Swords, truthful communication, very intelligent energy, a very direct energy. Um, again, the ability to cut away, break away free from any hurt, harm, or danger that's hindering, you know, that's affecting your growth, development, or edification in your journey. And my loves, if this energy is working against you, that means that the lack of this strength in communication um, is hindering you know, that forward movement for things to come together and for you to start receiving uh, this new prosperity and abundance. What brought this on for Scorpio? Past energy, please. What brought this on for Scorpio? Past energy, please. You're not really, you know, you're really processing all of this within. You're not telling anybody. I feel like I'm whispering to you in your thoughts, if that makes sense. Past that, okay. And in the past, I have an Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody didn't put the work in. They didn't do what was needed, required um, to have a successful, you know, to, to, you know, have a successful union, just period, point blank, you know? I, honestly, some of you, this is actual work. Uh, yeah, work related. Not, how can I say that? Um, so this wouldn't be about a relationship. This would have been about a life path. If you're, you understand what I'm saying? Um, if you're completely like for people that are completely in thought of changing their careers, com like, I don't know, from uh, cooking to medical, something completely different you know, um, but the work wasn't put in. So now divinely you're being guided to get back to um, what was embedded in your spirit before. And again, I uh, ancestral assistance, it's the same energy applying. Maybe you, you, in a past life you were in the medical profession and it's still in you, but for whatever reason you led toward, you, you know, you strayed towards food. You know, and I'm trying, but you're not being honest about that. So even if this is not about a relationship and we're talking about work itself, like employment, you know, be true to what you love. Be true to what you love. Because that lack of work is kind of where you're getting, you know, this is not a punishment. This is favor. Okay. Because you went to God and you said, um, I need guidance. You know, I need help. And you're getting favor by getting that answer. God is a prayer answering God. And the answers that you're getting is, um, I'm. Uh, first of all, you have to speak your truth. That's kind of like how this is going to work. All right? Future energy. Where are we going with this for Scorpio? Where is this going? Possible outcome, please. Future energy for Scorpio. There we go. All right. I don't need to throw the cards though. Oh, look at that lovely union. Two of Cups here. Uh, three of Wands, expecting great things, and the Nine of Pentacles. See, that's, I told you, <laughs> that abundance. <clears throat> Respectfully, Two of Cups energy doesn't always have to be about a couple. It's about you getting in complete alignment with uh, your purpose with your, uh, your angels, with your ancestors, start listening, um, uh, you know, in obedience, being on the same page, you know, um, somebody that gets you, you know, things like you think, want what you want, you know, it could be a friendship, you know, even you're being called to reconnect with whatever the case is, there is a connection. That's where this is going. This reconnection is going to bring about great things because somebody's blessing is on hold based on this action. And it looks like um, it's a shared responsibility, not just yours, theirs too, you know? Now, if you decide, because we all have free will, all right? If you decide to say, you know what? I'm gonna just uh, take this as a loss, you know? I'll continue to work this out within. Um, that's between me and God, it ain't nobody else's business. I agree, but just understand that uh, there is a gift and a freedom and abundance that's tied to this, okay? 
So the loss will be a double loss. If it's you that's being asked to make a move or to be honest or open or direct, whatever the case is. Okay, because this is pre empress energy with the nine of pentacles, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but heavy, heavy, heavy Libra is in my hand. Shama Lama, mother loving ding dong. I have to say that. I have to say that. Okay. All right, let's see. Going further down the line at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Swords. So, yeah. Uh, let me say this, Scorpio, you might say, you know what, I did all that and they said no. You were obedient. Or what if they say no? You're still being obedient. It's not about what's going to happen. It's, it's about you just being obedient. You understand what I'm saying? Because some of you might feel like, yeah, I did all that. They said, no, you know, they want to be single, you know, uh, or I, I was, turn, you know, I can't get that job because I don't have, I, I'm not old enough or I don't have that degree. I'm not good enough yet. You know, I didn't finish school, things like that. Again, still applying with pre-Empress energy. Okay. So that might feel like a betrayal, you know, to you. But that betrayal that you feel is an illusion. The whole point of this is not about uh, this like magic rainbow at the end of the, what do you, what, the magic pot at the end of the rainbow. It's about your obedience. The reason why you're in this position or in this energy is because of lack of work, lack of obedience. So if in this season you can be obedient, Wheel of Fortune. You see what comes behind that? So the new stream of income or abundance is still coming in for you. That's the point of this. All right? So don't be deterred if you feel like you're going for something that you won't achieve or if you feel like you're being led to someplace that's going to be, you know, that's going to let you down. It's not it's a, it's about can you follow directions? Because you didn't before. And now there's a nostalgia issue or some type of unfinished business, unfinished symphony um, or lack of closure, you know, whatever the case is, because the truth wasn't completely spoken. There was a withhold. All right. But going forward, hey, you do the right thing. You process this information, even though in your head you're like, oh, I think this is just so stupid. But look at the Wheel of Fortune coming in with the Four of Wands. Some of you are going to be so surprised, so surprised. There is a divine union here. Four of Wands energy talks about leveling up, uh, equaling out, um, maybe even some reconciliation. I have to say that, some commitment, some proposals, you know, all of these things. All right. I, but it comes to you. It's a difficult choice to a swords. It's a difficult choice, my love. But if you want this edification from the Hierophant energy, Taurian energy here, you want that edification. You want that growth, you know, because that's what you're talking to God about, uh, your growth, you know, um, in your private prayers and meditation. This is the answer, how to get that growth. That's how you get your happy, nine of cups, all right? But you, tower energy, you are going to have to take a chance with the fool. And guys, out of both decks and out of the energy we spoke about before I even pulled any of these cards, it's all the same. So right now, this season for you is really up to you of where you're going. Speak your truth, own your truth, walk in your truth, and live your best life. Okay? I hope this helps. Now, if any event you say green eyes, I have no idea what you're talking about. This absolutely does not resonate. Um, I'm okay with that, guys. Please check your moon. Check your rising sign this time. Just don't take the energy with you if it's not for you. Leave it here for another Scorpio. Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free to do so, and it supports the channel. Remember... We are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.